Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. I previously talked about how I sell miniatures on Etsy, but we had a local gift shop open that is going to have multiple vendors be able to rent out little booth spaces. This is great because you don't have to have an employee there all the time. You just set up your items for sale and they have one cash register at the front. So I'm super excited to have our own little space for my little village. I had a previous video of making this sign on the bamboo and the MK4, but I decided I wanted to make a 13 inch one on the XL. But I did have multiple errors. The first time the black didn't adhere at all. I was using the Prusament Galaxy Black. And then once I got it to actually adhere, I kept having some issues where the black would kind of smear into the white background, not only around the lettering, but on the actual house logo as well. But this one was the best looking one. I can see a little bit of black hazing if I look really close, kind of in this window and a little bit around the lettering, but it's definitely much better and I'm gonna keep trying. I ordered what I thought was white hooks on Amazon to hang my product, but they came in kind of a cream color. Then I ordered another set, and although these are white, the way that the um, back here, it doesn't fit in the pegboard that we have. It's just a little bit too wide, so these didn't work at either. So I decided I'm just going to print them myself. I wanted them white, and I can just 3D print them. I found this design on printables by Forker45, and there's multiple different sizes. I went with the three inch, pretty simple looking hooks. I can fit 16 on the MK4 build plate, and this took just a little over three hours. I decided my goal was to have 50 of them, so I had to run this on several printers and several times. And I wanted to set my dollhouses themselves on shelves, so I found this design pegboard shelf mount by Robo Mangus. The design itself is really cool, but I wanted something just a little bit cleaner, so I ended up using his mounts, the way that he did the pegboard spacing, and sliced that off, and then created just a simpler triangle shape for the mount, and then I could adjust the size, the depth, whatever I needed it to be. Because what I'm going to be putting on the shelves is not super heavy, I just run with normal infill. I don't reinforce it at all. And I can do six on the bamboo for a little under four hours. On the XL, I designed just a very simple shelf that is seven by 11 and a half. And it'll take just under six hours. I do wish that I could make two at one time, but I really need the depth of the seven inches to fit the dollhouse. I decided on eight shelves, so I needed 16 brackets. So I just spent a couple days just reprinting things over and over again, because that way everything can be the same color. And really, I don't want the focus to be on my shelves. I want it to be on my product. Ta-da, here is the completed booth for My Little Village. So not only is almost every single thing in here 3D printed, but the shelves, the brackets, the hooks. I even made a little business card holder, a little thing that says designed and 3D printed in Central Texas. I've got my QR code, another little shelf with a win me. So everything in here for the most part is 3D printed and it all came together great. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.